Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about discipling children. Discipling children with a Christ-like commitment, with a John the Baptist type of biblical barbarianism. It's a commitment, really. It's to see children through the eyes of our Lord. You know, so often when we talk about evangelism or discipleship, and the essence of what it is to be the church, to be a Christ follower, to be a biblical Christian. So often, sadly, too many leave children out of this thought process. They leave children out of this equation. And what that tends to look like is not a total avoidance, but it slips into the category of merely babysitting children in the church or relegating children to simple coloring books or story times. Story times that often pervert the truth of the gospel in the name of making it child friendly. I wanna remind us that children need to hear the word of God. Children need Christ. Children need to be discipled. That's why at the bridge, our family, from the very beginning, the Bridge family has committed to not babysit children, but to build them up to the glory of the Lord, to disciple children through a ministry that we've called the Bridge Builders, because we're building little bridges, building little Christ followers, we pray. We're committed to this, and I want to encourage all of us to live committed to discipling our children. We see it in our Mahali Safi commitment. We're literally a bridge family that God has used to create an orphanage for 220 orphans in Kenya. Our Mahali Safi commitment is a commitment to discipling children. As Pastor Frederick says, we're raising up the next generation, the army of God at Mahali Safi. We're doing it in the first week of August. I want to encourage all of us to pray about participating and all of us praying for the VBS that is coming this August in Maryland. This is a way for us to declare these things to the children of our community, of our families. It's to be a John the Baptist crying in the wilderness. That's in essence what a VBS could and should be. This very week, praise God, in Bangalore, India, our Bridge family put our first India VBS together. And praise God, the first day there were 28 children, then there were 38 children, and then there were 50 that came. Friends, I want to ask you to prayerfully, passionately consider how God would use you to help raise up the next generation of disciple warriors. Let us be committed in our micro lives personally and our macro lives as a church family to declare these things, to raise up the next generation of warriors for Christ locally, regionally, and globally. Oh, what a blessed family we are to know that we have the children of God, both in the adult form and in the children form, all in our family, all, I pray, being blessed through our commitment to raise up disciples that will make disciples that will make disciples. Amen and amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this child that you have gifted me, Lord, and um, I pray for her now, Lord, as she shares the gospel with whoever's ears are open, Lord, in order to receive it. I pray for um, just her heart, Lord, that the Holy Spirit flow through her, that the words flow through her as only you can do through this wonderful child, Lord, and I um, am grateful and gifted that this can go to not only adults, but children alike to see um, the glory of you and the gospel spread, not only through adults, but through children, Lord. Um, it doesn't matter how small you are, but if you have that heart change, Lord, you can share the gospel with the world. In your Holy Son's name I pray. Amen. Amen.
if you were to meet somebody, Savannah, that didn't know Jesus and didn't understand the gospel, can you show us how you would explain the gospel? And yep. Go ahead. How would you do it? We would start out with the dead person and their sins. That have the big train on their legs. That's holding them down. And then we would go to the point where a stickman gospel is, the cross. with the big heart in it. And then we would go to the the wolf in the sheep's clothing, climbing under, trying to get under until lies. And the post then over, it's trying to get to the God without going through the cross. And the person that's carrying the cross that went through the stickman gospel and the cross and like it has the love from God and when the dead person goes through the cross you would need a miracle and then you would go through the cross to the mission You need a miracle for the, to change your heart, and then you would go to the mission. God changes your heart and puts him on a mission in the world to help other people understand the gospel. those arrows going through, and then once you go through, you have the heart change. And then once other people come through, like the 12 disciples came through, Then they'll start growing and growing and growing the more people come to share the gospel. Do they have crosses too? Do they carry crosses? Yeah. They haven't picked up the cross yet, but once they get ready, they'll pick up the cross and start walking with God and following his word, his ways, and the truth. Jesus is the hope and the grace that we need.